All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the first device here, and you can see it right in front of you. So obviously it looks like it's just an audible device. There's no strobe on it. There's a little thing up there that says 520 hertz, so this must be like a low-frequency sounder of some type. There's an icon there that tells you not to paint over this device. And then down here is a mounting screw. So up here you have a code wheel with eight different options. High and low variants of outputs of temporal 3, temporal 4, continuous, and coded. I'll explain what those mean in a minute. So this is a system sensor model HRL-LF. It's a low frequency sounder in red color. And here's the mounting plate for it. You have your three terminals here, two positive, one negative. It's kind of a basic, what they call like a universal mounting plate. So it can mount to like single gang back boxes, double gang, four inch, and then I think these can mount to like a, a uh, one of those smaller octagon shaped boxes. So, to put this on a wall, you have your mounting plate wired up. This also would apply for the ceiling mount versions of these as well. You have their mounting plate on the wall already wired up. You pop the sounder on, making sure that these two tabs on the top of the case slide right into the mounting plate. And then you just push that on, and then you would secure that screw there. Let's go ahead and have a look at the instruction sheet here. And of course, this is a member of the L series family. It's an L series low frequency sounder. Uh, one page I really want to focus on in here is the one that describes all the tones that this thing can output. So, first table here. We have current draw for um, sounder strobes. You'll see the tones that they have there, high and low variants of temporal 3, temporal 4, and continuous. But we come down here into the tone output for the for just the sounder only units. You have temporal 3, temporal 4, continuous, and coded. Let's read that note there. For coded tones, temporal coding must be provided by the NAC. If the NAC voltage is held constant, the sounder output will remain constantly on. Coded ratings provided are for continuous voltage. So, what exactly does that denote? Well, sounder strobe variants of these cannot be co cannot have their audibles coded by a NAC, even if the NAC is synchronized. Um. However, I think that might not be true for some newer panels that use system sensor synchronization protocols. I think they are able to synchronize those types of devices to Temporal 3 if they're set appropriately. Um, I don't know if that works for the coded output on this as well. I haven't tried it. But... Um, for these sounder only units, if you're going to be providing coding from a dedicated NAC that is not synchronized, you would use the uh, the coded option of these sounders, and that would allow you to output your own temporal 3 or temporal 4 or cadence or march time or whatever coding you're planning on using. Now, overall, I think this device looks really nice. Obviously, I haven't been able to test it because of um, the limitations that I've, that I've described in the first video. Of course, I haven't been able to really test any of the devices that I've gotten because of that. Um, but I kind of like this device. I like the looks of it. Um... Some of you might think that this thing looks ugly. Well, when you just look when you just look at like pictures of it or like 
just a video like this. You might think it's a little bit ugly, but actually seeing one of these in person, I do kind of like the look of it. It looks modern, but yet it's not, it's not bulky and, um, it just, it looks kind of cleanly designed other than the little pro protruding, uh, sounder speaker thingy. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this. We'll go ahead and get another device out and we'll keep cranking these videos.